Alright boys, today we're going to be talking about the psychology of playing in a competitive environment. Now before we begin, I just want to thank my friend Fung for suggesting this topic a while back. He's definitely one of the coolest people out there, you should go check him out. So uh, let's get to it then. What I want to cover in this video is something that I've heard and seen a lot of players do, and I wanted to address how to handle a good mentality of playing TF2 when it comes to those harder games. Now obviously this applies to everyone, but it's mostly for players who are going to be playing the upcoming matchmaking, and players who currently play both Highlander and Sixes. Now this does apply to pubs on a smaller scale when you have like one or two really good players on the other team. So something I hear really often while playing lobbies is teammates getting intimidated by higher level or big name players on the other team. Now this leads to a sort of shitty team mentality where all you're doing is focusing on said players and being scared of them all game. Now, this often puts you in a sort of mentality where you're playing not to lose because you're scared, and instead of playing to win. Now this is a little bit different and we're going to talk about it. Now, I used to be guilty of this too. A long time ago when I started playing on a team it was pretty common to play organized pubs or pugs against top te tier players. At first it's a bit unsettling when your team is basically a team of nobodies and the other team has like Banny, Max, Stabby, you know, whoever. And it was really common to hear stuff like holy shit they have Max on Sniper, we lose. And then instead of adapting and playing confidently our team would just like collapse because we were under pressure of getting stomped by said players. Now the best advice I can give to overcome these sort of situations is just to completely disassociate the person with the class they're playing. Now this comes in two steps, and it's very important for improving by yourself and improving as a team. Now first of all, step one. When I'm talking about disassociating players from the class, I mean don't go into a game thinking like, oh shit, we're playing against X and or Y who are really good. Now just think that they're a scout, or just think that they're a soldier. If you think this way, you start playing con with confidence because you realize that these big name players are just normal people too. The name only exists to intimidate you into playing poorly. I have a couple examples of this where this personally worked for me. Six seasons ago, in my first season of Platinum Highlander, we played a team called Dead Ringer Storage, or DRS, on Lakeside. And our team at the time was DK, or Dunning-Kruger Effect, you may have heard of these teams. Uh, we were a complete bunch of like no-names who had just won gold the previous season, and we were suddenly playing big names every single match, and it was a pretty taxing mentality on us. Now we were heavily predicted to lose this lakeside game because the other team had a lot of big name players. They had like Mustard Overlord, Sigafu, Ser Servo, Jake, Rainy, and like a bunch of others. Now for me, for that particular game, I put myself in like a different mentality. I wasn't playing against Invite Soldier Servo. I was playing against Nameless Ass Soldier on their team. And I wasn't playing against Platinum Winner Sigafu. I was just playing against a like a random engineer I had never heard of. For me, like if I put myself in that mentality, and you know what? We ended up crushing. We ended up. Um, we ended up winning the game, 4-2, and I ended that game on a very high note. I had a ton of frags and a ton of damage, and I think I did better than most people on their team and on my own team. And uh, I just found that if you put yourself in the mentality that you're running up to like some shitty-ass demo man that you know you can beat, instead of running up to, you know, I'm running up to Mustard Overlord, he's a really good player, just think, you know, I'm running up to this demo man, I know I can beat him. And like... It was at that point that I realized that all these players being hyped up were just other players, they were just other humans, and they were certainly beatable. Now over the years of playing against pretty much every other big name player out there you can think of, like I, we did this over the course of 6-7 seasons, we played, you know, players like Harblue, Platinum, Marissa, Duwatna, Banny, Huey Lewis, Max, Satan, Decimate, FaZe, Deer, Stabby, Akuma, like you name them, we played them. Basically all these high level invite players and... Players with tons of experience, like Platinum winners, you know, Kuma, etc. Now, the only thing keeping you from playing with a positive mentality is your own perception of these quote-unquote better players, and how you think you're going to be losing by playing against them. And just to prove to you that anything is possible, in Season 16, which was the last season I played as Soldier, I had the best stats out of every Soldier in Platinum. That means I had the most kills per minute, the most assists per minute, the most damage per minute, the highest kill death ratio, etc, etc. And I'm just a nobody! I have uh, zero high level 6s experience, and that I came out on top on, on all against all these other competing players. Now this just goes to show you that with the right mentality, there's nothing stopping you from being the best. And if I can do it, and trust me, I'm fucking garbage compared to most players, and like anyone can do it. This like quote unquote, oh shit, we're playing against X player mentality can just be like, developed by playing lobbies and trying to disassociate who you're playing against. Now obviously, as I said earlier, this comes in two parts. Now let's talk about the second part here, which is, once you're able to disassociate the other team from their names, the key to bringing you to an even higher level is being able to reassociate them and play accordingly. Now I'll give you guys a couple examples here. Let's talk about Spy, just as an example. Now the way I play personally will greatly differ based on against who I'm playing against. For example, 
let's let's say the other let's say one team has Akuma on spy and the other team has Faint on spy. Now it's very important to play with confidence in both scenarios, realizing that they're just both spies. But my playstyle against Akuma, who I know will focus more on like cloaking and combo picks, is going to change than if I'm playing against Faint, who I who I know is going to go for a lot of flank base. So like I'll turn around more, I'll be checking different corners and possibly playing like a different setup. This really elevates you to like a higher level. I can give plenty of examples like this. This is also valid for stuff like uh, you're playing against their soldier. You know their soldier is really aggressive. You might want to keep your pyro around your combat at all times rather than give them like more liberties if you know if their soldier is more passive instead because that could benefit your team. Now again, there's another example. For example, um, you change your play style against different demo men. Um, this, the other teams demo play super aggressive. Like uh, for example, Mustard Overlord plays really aggressive. You can punish that by doing like a quick bomb if your whole team is on the same page, but it can also punish you if they're able to catch you with your pants down because they play so aggressive. Or uh, you know, the other team could play really passive. Like if their demo man is someone like Zan, who will like slowly spam you if you enter like the mid range range and you just get spammed to death, to death if you enter that range. So, like, I think you guys get the point I'm trying to make here. It's like, first you have to disassociate who you're playing against and to learn to play with confidence. And after that, you can start to understand everyone's different role styles. Now, this, as I'm saying, this reassociating doesn't really apply that much to, like, lower divisions because mostly everyone plays the same or relatively the same. You won't find, like, a very passive player versus, like, a really aggressive player that you can capitalize on in lower divisions. But this definitely does happen at the highest level. And it's really important to elevating your own game so i think you guys as i said get the point i'm making here playing with confidence is like the key to success it's a very important part for the new player experience especially once matchmaking will hit so i believe i covered what i wanted to cover thanks for watching and i always appreciate a like i know you guys had a lot of questions about matchmaking since when i stream i get a lot of questions so um i might do a video on that if you guys are interesting and I want to mention that I've been doing a lot of new player and map mentoring for new players and teams on my stream. So uh, if you're interested in that, I've had a lot of great feedback and you're free to drop by any time. My stream link is in the description. And thank you for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time.